Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to unbox some new tools from Black Friday and Cyber Monday on Data It Yourself. Okay, so the first tool I have today is the Ryobi P747 Inflator and Deflator. And I picked this one up off of Amazon, and it was $49. Let get this box open here. Um, you could probably get this cheaper uh, if you're lucky, maybe at Direct Tools or just keep an eye. This is a new in the box, obviously, not a refurb or a factory blemish. Um, let's see if we can get that out of there. Okay. Instructions. I will read those later. Um, high volume. So if any of you have seen my um, hot tub video, you'll know that I have an inflatable hot tub and I've been using the uh, small tire inflator. Got one right here, right here, this guy. And so this is gonna be a nice addition to my tool arsenal. And this uses the standard 18 volt battery. That's a three amp I got in there. So let's take the hose out here. There's the hose. Screws on the right there. Like that. So you get the blower and then a regular valve. Over here. Standard inflator hose. And on the end for the ball, or you can thread something on using this one or like for, again, your inflatables, uh, pool uh, donuts, or, you know, if you have one of those unicorns or giant uh, inflatable swans, you could use that too, probably. All right. So that's the P747. Again, it was 49 bucks on Amazon. Uh, let's turn that on. Let's see what happens when we turn it on. There it is. And you can program how much PSI you want to put in it, and it will go up to that level. All right, pretty cool. So the next item I picked up from Amazon using their uh, Amazon Prime deals uh, was this OEM Tools 22180 Toolbox Kit. And while as it's not the exact Ryobi green, it's still the light green. And since I've become a Ryobi guy, I've kind of grown fond of the the bright lime greens. Uh, as you can see from my cutters here, these are Craftsman Evolve. And if you haven't seen my video on those, I'll have a link up in the upper left hand corner over here actually. And then a link down in the description as well. The cool part about this, so you got the compartments in the top. Like that. Let me show you those. There. Duty handles. And surprise! Got a tray. There's another little box inside. That one's got the tray on top. Another handle. Another tray. And another. It's going to be a nice addition to my tool collection for hauling around my pieces and parts. Um, if you weren't aware, um, Ryobi does make plastic toolboxes like this. Um, they have the RTB19, which is the same size as this one. And I picked one of those up on the Global Marketplace on Amazon for, unfortunately, $75. It's coming all the way from Australia, and it hasn't arrived yet. And this one is the 14. They also sell an RTB21, which is a little bit bigger. I haven't purchased one of those yet. So another one of the items I picked up from Amazon was this P119 uh, single battery charger. Super compact. Uh, nice long cord on it too. This has got to be close to six feet. Let me plug that in. And as you can see, it has all the same light indications of a regular battery charger, the charging. And then depending on the blinks tells you if the battery's bad or it's evaluating it or anything like that. This is really compact. 
Um, you could throw it in a tool bag and bring it with you to a job site. The other cool part about this is I heard, and I haven't tested this out for myself, that the way this charges, unlike some of the other smart chargers, is you can jump start a over or undercharged battery and kind of bring it back to life. And I'm going to experiment with that in another video. But if you know a technique about that, put it down in the comments, including maybe a link to a video you've seen on YouTube or something like that. I'd really be interested in seeing that. And this was $21.98 on Amazon. So the next box I got is this one from Direct Tools, and I took advantage of their Black Friday sale. Everything was, I think, 20% off. I got the heat gun. And a hybrid radio. And the inverter. Now you notice, okay, this did not come from them open. Uh, we had a blackout about a week ago, and I actually had to open this up and use it. Actually, if you saw my last video on aftermarket batteries, I used this thing, and it takes standard 40 volt, and you get 300 watts of AC power out of this, or you can charge your phone using the USB uh, a or USB-C or a standard 110 outlet and this thing kept me going in the dark for about four and a half hours on a half charged battery. I have three of these batteries, two from Ryobi and one from uh, Kunlan Power. It's an aftermarket battery and amazingly one of my Ryobi batteries does not work with this, the 2 amp. This is a 2.4 amp or 2.6 amp and it works fine with this as well as that uh, Kunlan 6 amp battery. So that's the 300 watt charger. Next, what do we got here? Oh, here's the heat gun. And this is the, uh, what is that? P3150 heat gun. A light blinking over here somewhere. Let's turn that off. of instructions and yes I'll read those later really wanted one of these definitely there's the heat gun right there if you can see it heating element there I think this is yep the nozzles in here So this is your adapter you put on here if you're like going over something and you need a shield. Or this one if you're trying to direct a stream down at something. Let's put a battery in this and see how fast this thing heats up. You got there some kind of tag on there. I wonder if this thing heats up faster than the, uh, the, um, yeah, it heats up pretty good. It's kind of cool. It's a two stage. You have to hold your thumb on the unlock button to push the trigger. If you don't push that button down, the trigger doesn't go. That's nice. Yep, it's getting really hot really quick. So again, that's the P3150 heat gun, and that one cost me, how much did that cost me? That was $44.99 from Direct Tool Outlet, and this is a factory blemish. This is not a reconditioned, and there are, I don't see any visible defects on this, so I'm not sure what factory blemish would mean. Maybe the box had some damage to it that I didn't see. Okay. What's next? 
This is the P746, and this is the radio. Um, I have a small Bluetooth speaker in my shop right now, so this is going to be kind of nice. Get that opened up. I see inside there. Again, instructions. It's really nice. Look at that. I'm really interested in the newer Bluetooth radio they just came out with as well. Uh, I'm going to take a look at one of those. I wonder if that's a protector. Yep, that's a protection on there. And then it comes with two AA or AAA batteries and an audio input cord or an aux out cord, it looks like. Yep, or aux in. Aux in, okay. And the batteries are to keep the memory going in this thing. And then it runs on a standard 18 volt and it's hybrid as well. Let's see if we can get some sound out of this thing. What do I do with the battery? So it's got a USB um, port, aux in, aux out, and then what are the modes? Get the clock, obviously, presets, radio, AM, FM, and volume. It's pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to using this one. This was the price list. Um, this, this was $99.99. I've seen this thing as cheap as $79.99 uh, at some locations, but that's how much it was. Again, this was a factory blemish, and again, I don't see any blemishes anywhere on this product, so I'm pretty happy with that. So in addition to the items from Direct Tool Outlet that I just showed you, I also ordered the P3370 Cooling Cooler for $79.99 the P325 16 gauge nailer for $103.99 and the P131 car battery charger for $15.99. I took advantage of Direct Tool Outlet's 20% off Black Friday sale as well and I'm just awaiting for those products to arrive. All right, next box. This box is from Ryobi Deal Finders. Ryobi Deal Finders which you can find at RyobiDealFinders.com is just like Direct Tool Outlet. And, uh, has some really great deals. Uh, everything I got in here was Black Friday and it was 25% off. Took care of that box nicely with that Ryobi tactical knife. Yeah. What do we got in here? Good packaging. Instructions. So, RFK 35A1 spring knife. Now, I had one of these, and it disappeared. And this was my daily carry, so I'm replacing it. I picked this one up for, where's my note? $17.90. Again, 25% off. And then next, P743 portable power source. This has two USB-A connections. Uh, goes right on top of an 18 volt battery. Uh, I have the 300 watt and the 150 watt and now I've got this one and I don't even know what the wattage rating on this one is. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't actually say. I'm gonna assume that it's probably 150 watt as well but this is just for low voltage. There's no AC port on this so that you're gonna use this for pretty much powering your cell phone or a battery pack or something to that effect. All right, and this was $21.90. <laughs> uh, there we go. So, this is the P704 flashlight, and this one I think is, yep, factory reconditioned. This was not a blemish, 
but uh, I don't have this one. I like the the larger um, light than the other one. I have this one already, so you can kind of see the difference between the two. And let's put a battery in this one. Definitely an incandescent bulb. Is that? Oh. All right. And this, like I said, this was only eight dollars and ninety cents. So that was kind of a. I'm going to throw that on the order because it was so cheap. And then P790 hybrid work light. Let's open this one up. Like um, some of Ryobi's other work lights, this one is hybrid. And you can see it right there. I don't know how that would work. Think about it. I'd have to hook the cord up and then hang it to use it because putting the cord in and then setting it down would be nearly impossible. But it does use the 18 volt battery, which I have one right here now. Put that one in. Try that one out. See how bright that is with the. Oh, I have a light switch. Oh, here it is back here on the back. Ooh, that's nice and bright. Three settings. Yep, three settings. Articulating. It's got a little magnet right there, too. You see that? That's kind of cool. And then it got it. You know what it feels like? It's the. Um, Look at that. So here's the 150 watt charger. Look at the similarities in those two. How they kind of reuse the design. It's pretty cool. And this was $39.90. This was the most expensive thing on this order. And what's left in the box? Oh, two more things. AR 2032 impact driver set. Uh, I have one of these in one of my other um, expanded sets. I think both of these, but I don't have one of these, but I thought I'd grab. This is another one of those throw on items, and it was $7.90 for these three. And that's the AR 2032. And then last but not least, the RPM 121 black magic marker. I got it just because I wanted it. I actually wanted to buy more of these and I forgot to change the quantity in my um, cart before I checked out. These are dollar, dollar, dollar twenty nine each and they were not discounted at all because they're so cheap. So that is from Ryobi Deal Finders. Okay, Ugh. last item. Whoa. It's a little bit heavy. So Ryobi RYI 2000 GRA 1600 watts slash 2000 watt gasoline operated generator. If you remember earlier in my video, I talked about how we had a blackout. Well, I'm sick and tired of being in the dark during blackouts. We get two or three every winter around here because of high winds. So picked one of these things up. What kind of price did I get? $519 from the Home Depot, and there was no sale price on it, but because it's over $75, delivery to my home for free. This particular item isn't stocked in my local store, and I do live on an island, as many of you know, so this was a great deal for me. And once we get this unboxed, I'm actually going to take it out in the driveway and fire it up for you. So let's open it up now. Instructions. Yes, I will read those. OK. 
catalog. Spark plug wrench. This thing is heavy. Uh, it doesn't say on the box, but I can imagine. Actually, let me see if I can find it somewhere on here so you guys get an idea. Maybe on the label. Um, 57 pounds. Okay. Can I get it out of here? Comes with oil. And looks like the bar for that. Four cycle oil, 12 ounces. Okay, so what do we have here? Two 110 outlets, overload warning, overspeed reset, auto idle on and off, and then paralleling kit. What does a paralleling kit mean? It means you can have multiple of these hooked up together and parallel them up for increased amperage if you want to power more items in your house. Ground connection, and here's the circuit breaker right here. Um, one of the advantages of this particular model is that it has what they call clean power. So it's really good for hooking up um, electronics too. Laptop computers, your cell phone, if you're going to hook those up directly. Maybe you're camping or something like that. So that's really a nice uh, advantage to that. So it's pretty heavy. We got here. Okay, so. Is. All right, make this door. Nice little four-stroke motor in there. Looks like the motor on a like on a moped or something. Put that back on. Uh, lubricant port right there for draining the oil. Gas. And on this side, got our three starts off for storage, run for restart if it's warm, and then cold start them soon. This is definitely up, choked. And then a regular cold start like a regular lawnmower. All right, let's get this thing fueled up and start it up to see how quiet it is. Okay, before we get this started, let's go ahead and get it serviced oil in when I had this open the last time. This is regular 87 octane gas.
Well, there you have it, about $1,200 worth of tools that I picked up on Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all the sales that were associated from Home Depot, Direct Tool Outlets, Amazon, and Ryobi Deal Finders. I picked up about $200 in savings using the discounts that were available to me during this period. I'd say that's a win. Pretty much, I got a couple of free tools based on that. Hey, and if you're a fan of Ryobi Tools, don't forget, on December 10th at 6 p.m. Eastern, they're going to be releasing 25 new tools that are going to become available in 2021. I'm excited about it, and I'm looking forward to it as well. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. And if you want to see any of these tools in action, or you want me to do further evaluation of them, put that down below as well. And speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Data yourself.